Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of my favourite makeup of 2022. So I had would have released already my favourite makeup of 2022 but today I wanted to put on the individual items that I thought were my favourite of the year. I must say that there's one or two products that are probably not from this year but I have been using non-stop because I just love them so much so I'm going to start on my eyes today and I am going to be using my carnival antidote palette so this might be quite a surprise but I honestly was struggling to kind of think of what my favorite eyeshadow palette of this year was because I've tried so many like I have such a big pile um, and this one I always just go back to and I think I only did pick it up this year as well I think I got it at maybe the beginning of the year and I've just been using it non-stop I just love all of the colors literally I it's one of them, the perfect palettes for me you've got the red section you've got the green section and I just couldn't ask for more <laughs> in all honesty so I am going to start on my eyes I'm just going to quickly put on some sellotape and then we'll get started okay so now I'm actually going to go in with my Urban Decay eye potion this has been my favorite eye primer I've only been using it a couple of months but I already know that this is one of my favorites of all time because I literally saw the hype of this ages ago then I got it part of like a bundle on I think it was cult beauty and I've been using it and oh my god it really has changed the way that my makeup looks on my eyes especially because I mostly wear makeup these days when I'm going to work and that means I'm doing a really long day so I will always put on this potion and it is absolutely amazing because I'm literally running around all day and I'm doing I'm working in a really warm environment and I'm surrounded by lots of people and lots of talking and stuff and then when I look at my makeup at the end of the day the only thing that is perfect is my eyes <laughs> and I think it must be this potion because I don't think I found anything that matches how this works so this is definitely one of my favorites of the year so let's go on to the palette so I've mostly been using probably as you guys could well probably tell is this section just here but I do love both sides I am going to go in with this side today because <laughs> why not um and yeah we'll just get started so I'm just gonna find me a nice brush so I'm gonna kind of do a look that I tend to do quite frequently because it's just such a comfort look that I like doing so I am going to start off with full just here and I know that this palette did come out last year um, and if you would have seen my video of you know my favorite makeup of uh, this year I've had such a big collection but again a lot of it I was struggling to kind of go this is my favorite this is my favorite so I think choosing something like this was <laughs> probably just a safe bet for me so now I'm going to go in with a shade Sweet Cheeks, which I don't think I've actually used yet. So this is going to be a first impression of me using this shade. But although I haven't used every single shade in this palette, I do feel like it brings so much to just all the looks that I love doing. Because again, the shimmers are absolutely outstanding and the matte tones, I never have any issues with them. So I'm hoping <laughs> this doesn't mess it up for me. It's a nice mixture of um, like a purple and red look in this palette in all honesty so I must say that I like I used to love purple so much I used to wear a lot of purple eyeshadow back in the day um, but I haven't really much recently because I think I've struggled to find a palette that has a really great purple look in it so I think hopefully for 2023 we shall find my love for purple eyeshadow again I hope so now we're going to go in with October just here so that is a nice kind of well yeah again this is a full type of palette so that time of year like you know August September October it, this palette is absolutely perfect for that but for me fall is like a, the look is kind of an everyday <laughs> for me in all honesty so that's honestly another reason why I absolutely love this palette like I'm pretty sure I have used it quite a few times and I've done so many videos on my channel 
this year that I feel like this has definitely popped up the most. We're going to go in with a shimmer just to complete the look as per usual and I'm going to go in with Pin Up because it's such a stunning shade and I did mention this in my in my roundup video that I did try the liquid eyeshadows and I really did not like them. I was so disappointed um, with them and I did try them this year. Again, I know that they came out with this collection because obviously they're part of the antidote uh, collection but I just every time I use them they fail me so much and I got them for really cheap by Be Perfect because they were having every time they have like a sale I always try and buy something that I really want to try and they had those liquid eyeshadows for about three pounds fifty each I believe and they just were not not for me <laughs> which was very disappointing this eyeshadow palette absolutely knocks it out of the park so i'm going to see if i can add anything to my inner corner and then we'll be done with this palette so let's go in with glisten just here so that's a gorgeous um like pink shimmer so let's get that on all right yes i absolutely love this palette so much so <laughs> I'm just going to take on my cello tape and then we'll get on with the rest of the look. So now we're going to go on to primer so we are going to go in with my NYX Professional Makeup Marshmallow Primer so a lot of people have been very hit and miss about it this year but I honestly think this is amazing for my skin and for my makeup so every time I use this I love smelling it because it does smell of marshmallows and I'm a very um, I love sweet smells because they're like just just my favorite and whenever I do use this it honestly makes my skin so hydrated and so soft that I absolutely love using it so much I also love the NYX professional makeup papaya um, primer but I, I ran out of it and I threw the, the bottle away for some bizarre reason I should have kept it for this kind of purpose to show you guys but yeah i was kind of like right i was having a declutter so i was kind of going through everything that i didn't need anymore i didn't want that had run out um and i just threw it away like an idiot and i should have waited but anyway this primer smells amazing it feels amazing on my skin it really doesn't take that long to settle in and it does give me a bit of a kind of dewy look to it which i'm starting to appreciate like i never really liked having a dewy look on my face but it's going to be covered up by the foundation anyway so talking of foundations it's not from this year <laughs> with my l'oreal infallible 24 hour wear i know this is not from this year but again previously that like, with my eyeshadow palette i really struggled to find an eyeshadow palette that i really like a foundation that i really kind of like vibe with and i have tried so many and obviously in the video if you again if you did see it <laughs> i had such a lot of um foundations that i've tried some that i did throw away because they were just really annoying the hell out of me so i was like right i'm getting rid of them and obviously the ones that i kept are ones that i will be using a lot more um in the you in the new year but this is honestly one that i go back to every single time okay so that is looking great of course it doesn't completely cover everything like i have really crazy skin anyway so obviously all of this and this it rarely gets covered because i have such dry patches on my nose but that's nobody's fault in all honesty so let's go on to concealer so i have recently fell in love with the nyx bear with me concealer serum so i first kind of like discovered this when i went to the nyx um event a couple of months ago and the lady who was doing my makeup she is amazing and she basically didn't use any foundation she just used this all over my skin and it looked so damn good so i'm actually just going to use this for a couple of parts but it honestly i think it's in the shade vanilla because vanilla is what i use for my foundation as well but i just take a really tiny amount and then i will just put it everywhere that i need and it just will look so good on my skin of course it again with the foundation probably will not completely cover all my red markings because of my rosacea being so severe but i think it still does a pretty damn good job to conceal what i need it to do 
So now we're gonna go, before we actually powder down, I'm actually gonna go with the bronzer and my blush. So for my bronzer, this is gonna be no surprise to anyone who does occasionally watch my videos, but the Melt bronzer from this year has been my absolute favorite. And saying that, I've not tried many <laughs> because I do not contour, I don't really bronze that often, but Melt were, and probably still are one of my favorite brands. And when I saw that they were coming out with this, I was like, I need to start making a bit more effort to actually contour and to actually bronze. So I did pick this up in the shade Santa Barbara from Beauty Bay. Um, and I just absolutely love it. As soon as I started using it, I was like, this is one of my staples. So I'm just gonna take one of my brushes and we're not gonna go in with heavy handed because I don't wanna look completely insane. I just need to add some kind of definition to my skin because I end up looking very ghost-like and that's not what I want. <laughs> so now we're going in with my favourite step ever with my blush. So I have tried so many blushes this year but the one that stood out the most to me is the Rare Beauty Blushing Balm, I think they're called, uh, in the shade Nearly Mauve. So I recently picked this up, not I won't say recently, but I picked this up from Space NK and I have absolutely fell in love with Rare Beauty. I actually think all the products that I've tried have always been absolutely my favourite and I would say that they were my favourite brand of the year but I haven't tried everything so I haven't tried like foundation or concealer or many things so I don't think I could really call them my favourite brand of the year but this blush is absolutely outstanding. They have new highlighters that I want to try. I cannot wait to get them. They're sold out on um, Space NK at the moment so I need to actually like kind of wait for them to come out and then I will try them and I would definitely do a video on it but this has honestly been one of the easiest blushes to kind of blend out so cream blushes are still my favorite thing after last year like this year has definitely been the cream blush year for me and I think that this stands out more just because of how glowy it makes me look and again how easy it is to blend out and I just literally tapped it in I love how small and compact it is I think these are 18 pounds which I think she think is quite decent because recently I've been like oh it's so expensive but I'm just a bit stingy with my money anyway but I just feel like this really gives me just a stunning glow so I absolutely love it Now I'm going to powder everything down and I haven't, I don't, I won't say I've got like a favourite powder because it's so difficult to choose a setting powder that just will be amazing for me but I've been really enjoying the P Perfect Lockdown Powder in the shade Lockdown, Lockdown 1.0 so this is essentially like a translucent powder but I have been using it a lot recently to help just lock everything in and it really does. This is going to be probably a surprise, but again, for me, I already knew this was probably going to be one of my favourite highlighters of the year anyway. Um, and it's the Beetlejuice Revolution recently deceased um, highlighter palette. And it comes with three highlighters, but I tend to use these two the most. This one I don't use that much because it's a bit too deep for me. But I absolutely love this. I use this so much. I use this a lot, especially when I'm going to work. Like how, like this is absolutely stunning. It was like not even 10 pounds i think it might have been 10 or 12 pounds and i know revolution are always very hit and miss with a lot of products especially for me um but this highlighter was absolutely probably my favorite product that they've released this year because i was a bit um and ah uh about purchasing anything from the beetlejuice collection but it really surprised me in such a good way and this is probably my favorite thing mainly for the packaging but because the highlighter itself is so damn good and again i use it so much and it gives me a gorgeous glow right so liner i could only choose one and it's the nyx makeup epic ink liner this honestly does not budge it is so easy to use and it's just so good and i think it's probably one of my favorite products of the year because i always try and, and use a liner but i love using this so much because it's it's just so easy to use i think it's like 11 pounds or maybe less than that it's, it's honestly worth it. So I'm just not going to do a crazy look today because my eyes are going to stand out, I hope. It is 
so good of course my eyeliner never matches but you know <laughs> it's totally fine so now we're going to go on to lips so lip liner wise i really enjoyed the um we love revolution super Fill liner so this is a perfect red to kind of go with my lipstick but this is in the shade babe so i have been using it an awful lot so let's get this done okay so now we're going on to lips and i did struggle to find probably what would be my favorite lipstick of the year and normally i would go for a liquid lipstick but this year i've kind of gone for a bullet slash kind of like powder lipstick so i'm gonna go in with my n with my nars i don't know what this one is called this is the power matte lipstick so i only picked this up a couple of months ago i think and it is honestly so damn good i love the packaging i love the way that it stays on my lip all day and it's super comfortable it does not really budge and it doesn't really make my lips feel like the sahara desert so i absolutely love this formula i probably will pick up another shade because i just love the way that this is on my lips so let's get this on Okay, perfect. So now we actually have one more product that I rarely talk about, but mainly because when I film these videos, I just tend to take them off and I never use a setting spray. But when I've been going to work using my setting spray, I've been using my Cocoa Mist, um, Aloe Mist actually by Beauty Crop, and I have been using it quite a lot. And it takes a lot for me to go through setting spray. So I'm actually going to set this because I'm going to film some more videos after this, but I love the way that this helps my skin and my makeup feel so good all day. So this is my finished look and in essence, this is meant to be probably how my makeup would probably look on like a, an amazing scale because it's got all these products that I love. But I really love the look, how it's come out. My eyes, I think, stand out so well. My blush, my highlights and my lips. I'm just loving everything. So I just really want to just appreciate how I look for two minutes because I never do that but um yeah I, that is my finished look let me know what your favorite product of the year has been or a couple of products that you've really enjoyed and I hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching in 2022 if you have I really appreciate you guys I hope if you're not subscribed that you could subscribe and be with me for 2023 and onwards because I would love to have gotten to 300 but I don't think I would have done it but it's totally fine honestly this is such a big hobby for me that i love doing all the time and i just love reading your comments and making friends on here so i just really appreciate you guys and yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe because i film and upload every time i get a chance to don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because i'm always active on there take care guys <clears throat> see you soon Bye bye